Hello guys, I am Education is Perfectionist and today we are going to cover our second topic of Biology Specification IGCSE for IGCSE 9 to 1 and our next topic is about enzymes and controlling reactions in the cell the enzymes its definition is given here on the top of the page and chemical reactions which take place in our cell is controlled by a group of proteins named as enzymes so these are enzymes are basically group of proteins and proteins means they are made up made up of uh, amino acids which we'll learn that later but enzymes are proteins they are both same so it means if they go out of the cell the protease enzyme can break down protein so chemical reactions usually take place within our cells and it is controlled by a group of enzymes so enzymes are a biological catalyst catalysts are things or materials which are required to speed up the reaction and they do not use themselves up so if there's a reaction for example um, we are breaking glucose we are breaking starch into glucose all right for example we're taking uh, we ate a food this morning and then when we are digesting this our enzymes tend to break it to glucose it doesn't happen it doesn't happen directly but for example I'm just telling you it first turns into mild uh, um, maltase and then it goes but this is what happens starch is turning to glucose and this reaction takes place in our cells These reactions take help from catalysts and catalysts such as carbohydrates or we could say amylase. Amylase is an enzyme. It is also a protein which helps in breaking down starch to glucose. So this is a simple example of a catalyst and uh, enzymes main function so they speed up reaction without using themselves up then these reactions are controlled by your genes the genes main job is to create protein so in our nucleus it, so it all makes up sense in the first video I say nucleus controls the activity of the cell I also meant that it controls the reactions within the cell if you remember and nucleus contains uh, contains genes our genes provide characteristics also and also controls many things within our cell and one of those things is production of enzymes which literally means which controls the reactions catalyzes the reactions within our cell cytoplasm so genes in within our, within our nucleus produce proteins proteins which are named enzymes which are also biological catalysts and they cause catalyzed reactions the molecules that an enzyme acts on is called its substrate so in this diagram if we talk about substrate and enzyme this enzyme and this is a sub substrate entering enzymes active site this is the active site I'll just write A and S active site active site is an opening where a substrate binds uh, where a substrate binds to the active site and a reaction forms so in the next picture we can see the substrate binds to the enzymes active site it's an opening like this or it can be in any shape for the substrate to bind it to this will bind into this so when it binds a reaction takes place just for example think this as starch for example itself and then this starch has binded with the active site of the enzyme and the reaction has taken place this enzyme has helped the 
substrate to get in get into an uh, reaction and this reaction has caused the pro the reactant or should we say the substrate to divide into half or breaking down into glucose simplified example it doesn't turn into glucose eventually so quickly it turns into maltase and I said it earlier also glucose and under the diagram there is an explanation enzymes catalyze reactions at their active site the active site acts like a lock this con consider this as a lock to the substrate key and substrate is a key the substrate fits into the active site and products are formed the, this happens more easily than without the enzymes uh, than without the enzyme enzymes act, act as catalysts so this reaction can place uh, can take place without the enzyme itself but without enzyme the reaction would eventually slow down so uh, here is written the reaction then takes place and products are formed when the substrate joins up with the active site less energy is needed for the reaction to start and the products can be formed more easily this is why enzyme is used this is the main point if you want to write it down just write it down this is the main point that when substrate, uh, substrate binds with the active site when it binds with the active site the enzymes uh, when uh, the enzyme reduces the energy required for the uh, reaction to start and it uh, forms product more easily and just consider this a lock and key model it is given here uh, yeah, lock and key model is a famous name for this action taking place here and this is what this is how an enzyme works uh, in summary that I will say this again that enzymes are a group of proteins which are produced by genes genes produce prote uh, proteins which are enzymes again and enzymes are biological catalysts biological catalyst speeds up the reaction by not using itself up in the reaction and then the enzymes take part in catalyzed reactions and they reduce the energy required for the reaction to start and they form the products more easily and they make the reaction more quicker and faster so and then we talk about lock and key model of an enzyme that an opening of an enzyme where the substrate binds is known as the active site and the product or uh, sorry the reactant or the substrate coming onto the or and binding to the binding to the binding to the active site is known as the substrate and substrate acts as a key and enzyme acts as a lock so it is a lock and key model just there are four factors which affect the activity of enzyme but I wrote here two because two of them are in human biology but I'll just take their names which is the concentration of substrate and there was another one but eventually concentration of substrate is another point and temperature pH level and temperature I will talk about temperature and pH and so temperature at higher temperature the enzymes start to get denatured denatured means eventually they are ending up dead it means the enzymes are getting broken down and they are being affected by higher temperature so when enzymes reach a higher temperature they eventually start to denature and they start to die there is a reason see at low temperature the rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction is increasing as the temperature increases until our body temperature at our 37 celsius the rate of reaction is the highest it's the highest because it is our normal body temperature and it it's easier for enzyme to take uh, to uh, maintain a reaction catalyzed reaction at that temperature so that temperature is known as optimum temperature this is an important word I will just go close
this word has an importance alright so I will take you closer to this word or the phrase optimum temperature it has an utter importance in it and this word is very important it is not an optimum temperature and it's a peak where the enzymes activity is highest so I will just take you closer just write it down if you want it so we were talking about enzyme activity and eventually at this temperature the activity is at its best literally the best and after the temperature it decreases the reason is because of this the active side is altered cause of high temperature at higher temperature this part of the enzyme gets altered when this part of the enzyme gets altered you know what will happen that the key would not fit into the lock it means that a reaction would not form it means that substrate won't bind to the active site and there won't be no, there won't be a reaction would uh, they would there won't be any reaction taking place and it will slow down the reaction uh, process within our cells and even the hydrogen bonds start to break down the hydrogen bonds within the active site start to break down which causes the alternation of the active site and then it is this point I explained it that substrate doesn't bind to the active site at lower temperature eventually the kinetic energy of the substrate and of the substrate and the enzyme is slow which causes them to move slower to each other which causes the reaction to uh, take place in a lower quantity in chemistry or we should talk about in sense of chemistry when the kinetic energy is higher I would like KE when the kinetic energy is higher the movement of the particles or enzymes or substrate is quicker so as the kinetic energy falls the movement of the particles substrate enzymes everything falls down so this causes the enzyme and the substrate to move slower to each other at a higher temperature moves closer to each other uh, faster sorry it moves faster to each other faster but at lower temperature it moves slower so eventually the reactions uh, the reaction takes uh, doesn't take place in that format which causes it to affect the rate of reaction and then if you talk about pH level it also applies same but and in our body the pH level should be around 7 so 7 pH number is the ideal pH number and if the pH number is less or more than 7 in a slight difference it doesn't affect that much to our body but but it is important that we should maintain this pH level or else it will cause us harm see extreme pH level could cause us problems like this the rate of re exam catalyzed reaction slows down at lower pH level it gets messy so extreme or lower so the pH level consists of from 1 to 14 and if one it is acidic means it's it's also dangerous it's not safe at 14 it is alkalic alkaline or base you say whatever it all are acceptable so if we talk about one two three pH level the activity of the enzyme is the least and at the other side if you talk about 14 13 12 11 it is also least this is because at enzymes at extreme high or low pH level gets denatured as the active as the hydrogen bonds start to break and the active side is uh, altered cause of extreme pH the same applies for this uh, as the temperature affecting the enzyme and it doesn't allow the substrate to bond with the active site so it is almost the same thing as the temperature and if you talk saying if we say that temperature and pH are pretty much the same effector but temperature doesn't uh, 
temperature doesn't cause a great uh, devastation at lower temperatures such as 20 or 30 which doesn't cause a problem but if you see a temperature getting higher than 37 is a great problem and for pH extreme pH low or high is a problem and there is two there are two more uh, factors affecting our body uh, our enzymes uh, our body's enzyme which which we'll discuss in human biology and um, which are one is substrate concentration and the other one I can't remember but I'll see look into that eventually it uh, we have covered the topic of enzymes and by tomorrow I will talk about the experiment which involves uh, effect of temperature on the activity of amylase which is activity 1 and then we have activity 2 an investigation into the effect of pH on the activity of catalase so these two experiments will be uploaded with how the cells get its energy we'll talk about anaerobic aspiration aerobic aspiration and that video itself will cover two experiments or, uh, of uh, carbon dioxide production by living small living organisms and demonstration that heat is produced by respiration and then in the next videos we'll talk about movement of materials in and out of the cells so thank you guys for watching my video i hope you like it like my video and subscribe my channel thank you